the stage. So this is this, this might be a little slower. You know, a, a little slower. But I mean Monty definitely has to take the time, has to respect that range. How are you gonna close the gap? The Nair is gonna be that very quick aerial that Sephiroth has access to is a combo tool as well. Ooh, that's a good sign already. He's not letting Game Watch jump in on him with Nairs for free. And that's what you kind of see Game Watches do a lot to approach. They hit that one hit of Nair and then suddenly start a huge combo. Yeah, I like how uh, Ned is also angling these four tilts down as well. Knows so that Game Watch get the tipper too. Yeah, yeah. Angled down. Nice. That's it. You know what's funny about Sephiroth online? Everyone stopped playing him online because they couldn't reactionary F tilt the ledge. And then when I see offline Sephiroth hit it all the time, it's like, oh yeah, this is the character. Yeah, this <laughs> Sephiroth is a very different beast, and I love the upbeat from Ned. Uh, just a great move to kind of get out of the corner mm -hmm. with Sephiroth. It does cross up shield, so it you know just really Ooh. quick. And the back air does find the mark. Ned only at forty five percent without the wing, the wing. Wing is not out right now. This is this is baby Sephiroth. Still a strong character without the wing, by the way. In case you guys didn't know, great down tilt two frame. Actually, super active down tilt. So not actually that hard to time that uh, down tilt to hit people's recovery with Sephiroth. And if you catch him without a jump off stage in that scenario, great position to be in. I love how Ned is using the side B as well. That is a factor, though. You get the Shadow Flare orb onto your opponent or onto Game & Watch. Game & Watch can run off stage and bucket it. So I think Ooh. Ned's going to have to be pretty Ooh. careful. But I don't <laughs> Not even the sweet spot. Beautiful I... Nair back air from oh, Ned. Man. What I... percent was he at? <laughs> Yeah, I guess, I guess you don't really need Shadow Flare, huh? You just you I, just beat him up with the sword. I'm going to be honest with you. I feel like Nez literally using the Shadow Flare just to bait him to use the bucket. Yeah. And then he starts punishing him. Oh, it's party oh, time. Nice the movement using the extra jump of the wing, kind of stalling with the neutral B as well. Because you can jump out of the charge animation for the uh, Giga Flare. 45% oh. off of the three Oh, there's hits. another great down tilt. Nez still at three stocks in case you guys can't count. <laughs> still Angle. has the wing. You're oh man, I thought maybe a, we were gonna see a fair. Okay, oh, we got a little schmick. He's moving. He's feeling himself. Yes, the B reverses, the mix ups, the air drift. Ned using the jump, getting to the platform here, bringing out the shadow flare, just jumping away, disengaging, and again, the up B. Really safe hitbox, crosses up shield, and the forward tilt to do it in. I don't know if Monty's got a pocket, but you might have he to start He does not digging. have a pocket. All right. I have never seen Monty touch anyone besides Game and Watch. I guess we're learning the matchup right here, right now. <laughs> hey, SoCal, before I leave, I want to give you guys a, a little bit of uh, advice. Pick up Sephiroth. There you go. <laughs> there you go. If you guys don't like Game & Watch, it's a good one. It's a good one to have. Long sword, very <laughs> effective. I don't know if you guys are watching. Like, I feel like Ned was just playing like optimal Sephiroth, and Monty's just trying to do what Game & Watch does, right? But yeah. I feel like the Sephiroth's basic game plan counters what Game & Watch wants to do. I yeah, mean, you're, I'm you're, not an expert. I'm not an amazing Sephiroth myself, but like that's just what I'm observing. I mean, you don't really have to interact with Upbeat if you think about it with Sephiroth, right? Yeah. Like, the the range of Upbeat, Sephiroth never has to play in that range. Yeah. You don't, you don't have to play Mr. Game and Watch's games. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, you, you're you're just like, wait, you're, hold up, I can't Upbeat him out of shield? Yeah, like I, exactly. If my, I mean, maybe Nair, that's that's kind of it, but usually Sephiroth isn't trying to like land on you with Nair if you have an out of shield. You can just fade back, play that distant game, right? I'm wondering what's going to happen here. This is like, this is a really hard position to be in, right? Like, you're playing a bad matchup. You got three stocks in the first game. What do you bring out right now to bring this to a game three? You just got to dig deep. You got to dig deep. <laughs> I mean, maybe you get a couple of SDs on the way. I don't know. <laughs> Meister, give this guy the blessing. He needs the nine. He needs, <laughs> he needs the nine. <laughs> he needs a, get this man a nine stat. Oh, I hear the pop-off from the side stream. SoCal's making noise. I'm thinking AC just made something happen against Chag off on the side stream. So SoCal, always popping off. Anyway. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right, we, got the, we got the Nair combos. All right, we, we're, we're cooking here. All right, we got the lead. Monty did just get three stocked, and you know, starting this game number two off with some sort of damage lead is definitely going to be reassuring. Okay. Ned's getting a little bit more brave with the down airs. We didn't see that at all in the previous game, but that's also a very strong thing that Sephiroth can do. Oh man, the fact that that move hits in the air, the dirt splashing on the ground, definitely acting as its own hitbox. Ned just covering these landings. 
Ned does not have to really respect the down air either. Just a quick yeah. sidestep away. The forward tilt is there for what? the punish every single time. Yeah, I'm glad you brought that up. What an incredible whiff punish on Game Watch falling with down air. You just fade back and your F tilt covers from like almost the whole screen. And it, you're probably going to hit the sweet spot from that distance too. And, and you know, get the kill on Game Watch. Beautiful tech coming out from Ned here. Does have the stock lead. Wants to hold on and get as much damage as possible before the one wing comes out. And we out of here. Yeah, it's a, oh, there's the wing. <laughs> I was going to just mention like how well Ned is playing even without the wing. And then it feel like once he gets the wing while he's winning, it just becomes an even harder game for Monty. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And even when Monty starts getting these like pressure scenarios, I feel like Ned kind of just upbeats out. Yeah. Very oh. underrated tool, like you mentioned in the previous game, just to get out of the corner. And it has like, you know, it's a little bit of startup, but I feel like it's still hard for the opponent to react and punish it. Yeah, it's really nice to have a special move that crosses up through shield. <laughs> but anyway, um, Sephiroth definitely having that option available. Very, very top tier esque tool to have. There's the dash attack, and Monty is keeping the pressure on. Yeah. Goes for the edge guard. I respect. It's it's pretty hard to edge guard Sephiroth, but at this point, Monty's just got to figure out how to take a stock, right? Definitely. Like he hasn't taken a stock last game. He's got to figure out something. Oh, I love the spacing on the F-Tilt. It's like maximum distance, completely safe. Yeah, even um, Ned's doing a great job with these falling quarters too, just getting uh, spacing out that sour hit. Getting that sour hit, I mean, usually you want the tipper just for like damage, but the sour hit's great for, you know, getting tech chases and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Game Watch is playing the game of catch the Sephiroth. And then, okay, finally, the floor. Caught him, finally. Caught him. <laughs> Catching Sephiroth with the wing is not an easy task. There's yeah. the Shadow Flare. Okay, it's coming up the bucket. Yep, he's going to nope, go all oh, game. They eventually friends with the bucket. Not, yep. not, not a bad scenario for Monty. Yeah, and if Monty's able to fill up that bucket, he could maybe get you know some down throw into bucket. Sephiroth is extremely light, Definitely. so susceptible to the KO at zero percent for sure. He finds his way in. It, it's a nair finally. Okay, that's like to catch the landing. This is what you were talking about with the bacon. Okay. He's going off stage. Oh, a little high recovery nice. there, but Monty is there with the neutral air. He's keeping this pressure on with the up airs as well. Yeah, first time we really saw Monty apply some decent amount of pressure to Ned. And I see right now, he's like, he's just trying to stay in there as long as he can. Oh, okay, we're Ooh. fine. Just barely, though. Barely living. Monty going to the ledge here. Ned trying to get that normal get up, but still having the back air, the forward tilt. There's so many obstacles Monty has to get through. Okay, the shield. Oh, man, look at look at the sword. <laughs> it's it's really hard. Yeah, it's hard for Game Watch to sneak his way in there. He's got the oh, dash attack. Oh, there's the tipper again. Extra damage too because of the wing. Yeah, and, and Ned just I, I feel like he, Ned knows I, he exactly, knows it. Yeah, he, he knows, knows exactly it. when and where Monty wants to approach. Um, obviously, it is tough for Monty to come in, but Ned is still timing these attacks very well. Yes. Up uh, throw Nair just for the clean first sense. Sneaks in a tipper backer as well. And uh, honestly, man. Again, Ned, now that he has a stock lead, it's going to be even harder for Monty to approach safely. Ned's not taking any more risk than he needs to. It's it's so scary for Game & Watch to go for a down air, too, against Sephiroth, just because... Ooh, okay, okay. Get into the confirm. No! Gets the neutral B hit, but does not confirm it into the forward air or the back air. Yeah. Or maybe even, like, forward tilt. I, I, it depends on the distance, but yeah. on forward. I definitely see forward tilt a lot more often, but... Even then, like, yeah, Monty is really struggling to get this kill. Nez playing incredibly patient, not taking any real dangerous risks because he knows, like, hey, if I if I get hit here, I'll probably get the wing sometime soon. No, no reason to force the approach. I can just continue to play safe, and if I do somehow get hit, I can get the wing and just further my incredible lead. It's crazy that Sephiroth can pressure, pressure Game & Watch, like, outside of the burst ring. That's how yeah. long this sword is. Yeah. Like, that, that is so crazy. Ooh. The little stutter yeah. step forward. Ned looking good out here with the Sephiroth. <laughs> the up tilt closes it out. and Well played. Very well played.